Okay, we're just going to show you how to fit a one, uh, 180 uh, straight glass to glass hinge. Um, the first thing is uh, you take off the um, protection uh, just to stop it from being scratched and then you undo these two screws. Right, uh, with these screws off you, uh, you can take off the plates and as you can see um, the inside is you've got some gaskets on there. Um, now all you need, if it's 10 mil glass, is you only need one gasket each side of the glass. Um, sometimes they come with more and that's because um, for different size thickness of glass. So as you can see we've got, uh, this is the bare hinge, we've got this bit of plastic protection here. That has to stay on because that is stopping the glass to metal contact. Um, you then put on one of these uh, gaskets um, and you would then push that onto the glass like this and as you can see it fits in um, and what you would then do is you would then put another gasket on and then you would follow that uh, actually one thing to say these two screws here um, are adjustment screws so if, if your panel doesn't quite line up uh, uh, exactly you can undo these and this will move um, move the, uh, the the spindle position but that's we do have another video for that um, so if we put this on here and then basically you just uh, you screw it back on with the screws so we basically screw it on with the screws do it up to reasonable tightness um, you know quite tight using the uh, allen key that you've got with it and then generally you do that now just showing where those adjustment screws that we talked about earlier you can access these through here with a with an allen key make sure it's a good quality allen key because we don't want to um, round those off um, but basically like I say if you if you undo those you can move this on the spindle and you can adjust the door um, central um, position um, and then once you do that you basically do the same for the uh, with this hinge um, and like I say, do it up quite tight, leave it for about an hour and then go back and tighten it again just to make sure that it allows a bit more compression.